Okay, here we have half the geode that we just cut. Um, right now we're going to demonstrate how to polish it. And right, what we're going to use to polish it is our Diamond Pacific Genie. As you can see, it's got six wheels. Each wheel has a different grit rating on there, and we're going to use it for, each wheel has a different purpose. So we're going to use that to polish. What we're going to start off with is Zeke is going to start off with that wheel that's on the far left. That is an 80 grit wheel. It is the coarsest grit, and it's mainly used for shaping out your rock. You're going to make the shape of what you want to do. Um, so grit, Zeke, go ahead and fire up the machine. Now another little thing to note here is the little jets right there that are squirting water up on there. Really important to keep those wheels wet so that you don't breathe in some of that dust because some of those dust can be really bad for your health. Notice he's going in nice circular motions actually using the full wheel, not just one little spot of the wheel. Okay, he's just finished up work on the first wheel. Now if you notice, it's a little bit different, but it still doesn't have the polish that we're going for on there. So what we're going to do now is we're going to move up to the second wheel. We've already got our little water pumps moved under it so we keep our wheel wet. Again, that's very important. Uh, again, another important aspect of this is using the full wheel, not just uh, wearing one little part of the wheel. If you do that, you'll wear a groove in your wheel. You'll have to replace your wheel, and these can be kind of expensive. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to move on to the second wheel. Now, this is a 220 grit wheel, and basically each grit is going to get finer and finer and finer as we move up here to our polish wheels. And what we're going to want to do with that is basically each wheel is going to create scratches in the rock. As the grit gets finer, it's going to erase the scratches from the previous wheel until the scratches are so small that you get a very glossy polish on there. So go ahead and fire up the machine there, Zeke. Again, notice the circular motion of how he's moving that geode around. He's using the full wheel. He's not going to put any grooves in the wheel. That's really, really important with a genie unit like this. Okay, Zeke thinks he's got it where he wants it. He's going to check. He's just going to dry off the surface real quick. And he's going to put it under the light and inspect it and give it a nice inspection. He wants to look for the grooves and see if that's uh, where he wants, see if he's got it shaped. And if it's where he wants it, then he's gonna move the little water pumps over to the third wheel. And we're gonna start in on the third wheel. Okay, Zeke has just finished doing his polishing on the third wheel. Now the third wheel is a 280 grit wheel, and it's the last of our um, more coarse grits. Basically where we're going to be moving from here is our fourth wheel, which is a 600 grit wheel, and that's our pre-polish wheel. Now on this step, it's very important that we make sure that we've got all our sharp burrs or any of our sharp edges off of the rock that we're polishing, because what we don't want to do is ruin the buffing wheels or the polishing wheels with any kind of sharp burrs and cut into those wheels or anything like that. So Zeke, why don't you go ahead and move the water over here. Again, even with the buffing wheels, it's still very important we keep them wet. Now we're going to have Zeke start on the fourth wheel, which is again our pre-polish wheel and our 600 wheel. Something to note is how Zeke keeps 
both hands on the rock. It's actually really important so that the rock doesn't go flying across the room. Not only is that a danger to your health, but it also can ruin a really nice thing. Okay, this is the rock as it's finished from its fourth pre-polished step. Once again, we are on the fourth wheel. That's a 600 grit wheel. And it's already starting to look a little bit more pretty. Uh, when we're done polishing this, we'll coat it in a really good light and you'll be able to see the difference here. Now we're gonna move on to the fifth wheel. Now for this, because it's a geode and comprised mostly of agate, uh, it's gonna be a very hard material. So we're only gonna use the fifth wheel, which is a 1200 grit wheel. Uh, this sixth wheel here is a 3000 grit wheel and it's really only used for softer materials. Um, so it's really not gonna do much good for our agate here. So um, go ahead and fire it up, Zeke. And see, he's just trying to work every little piece of the surface of that rock. And if you can see the edges there, you'd notice that a lot of them seem to be a lot smoother right on the corner, right on the edges there. And that was from the earlier stages we did. We did that to make sure that we didn't cut any uh, grooves or anything like that into our polishing wheel. That's actually really important when working with a, with a genie unit like this, is when the more time you spend on the first three wheels, the less time you'll have to spend on the polishing phase which can make life a lot easier for you when you're trying to follow. Another thing to keep in mind is if you're working with a piece and you just can't get a good polish on it, it might be a good idea to go back to one of those first three stages and do a little bit of shaping on it again and just uh, see if you can groove it down a little bit more. Okay, here's our final result here. This is the geode that Frederick cut. We cut it in half. Now this side, we haven't done anything with. Okay, it's just, it doesn't look bad. It looks nice, it's a nice flat surface. Frederick did a really good job cutting this so you don't see any saw grooves or anything like that. It looks really nice. This right here is the piece we just po polished. You can already tell that there is a much higher quality polish on this. You can see the reflection of the light in there. If I get real close in here, you can see how much more polished this is. So that's the difference between what it's looking like when it's cut and what it's looked like when it's polished. So there you have it, a geode from raw to cut to polished. If you have any other questions or concerns, you can email us. You can come to our website or come into our store and ask us anything you need. Thanks so much for tuning in guys, see you later.